using Saudi Arabia. Officials in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, our dear viewers, and welcome to Saudi Facts. People look for various things before planning to work or travel in any country, including safety rates and freedom of movements within the city or travel within the country without the fear of getting robbed or harassed. May God forbid. Many countries are concerned about their reputation in this area because of the impact it has on the tourism industry. Our correspondent in London met and inquired from many people whether they feel safe walking at night and also who do they believe has a higher level of safety, the UK or Saudi Arabia? Do you feel safe while walking at night in London? No. At night, I take the right precautions and secure all my belongings. Well, it depends on the area and if I'm alone or not. And you have the police uh, turning around in the city, so it's okay. If you're alone, be cautious, maybe stay in groups. I would feel uncomfortable walking by myself. It's just not very safe, especially for girls. Uh, probably I met some bad guys. Depends where I'm walking. It's not the same for men and women. Who are people who are addicted to drugs, things like that. Uh, I, I feel safe, yeah, Ma many policemen. Well, London generally as well, you see in the news as well, quite a, quite, a, quite a dangerous place at the moment. It's always just to stick in a group, that's, yeah. that's yeah. the way to go, never be alone. Definitely not safe, unless you live here and you know where you're going. I feel safe in London, walk alone. But yeah, probably at night is not recommended for a woman in London. So what do you think about Saudi Arabia, if you want to walk at night there? What is the difference? It's too much safe. Uh, definitely very safe in Saudi Arabia. It's very, very safe in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia are way more safer, especially for women, of course. I felt relatively safe because I was with my family, though. I hear this looks good. Even should be safe as well. I think it's safe. They are very luxury thing places, so I don't think it's, safe. it's not safe. Unfortunately, I haven't, but I'd, I'd love to go one day. This was the opinion of people our correspondent met in London. But let me provide you with some fact about Saudi Arabia's safety. In 2020, Saudi Arabia ranked first among G20 nations as the safest country, as well as Saudi Arabia ranked first in the Reliability of Police Services Index, an indicator which measures public confidence in law enforcement and its success in achieving order and safety. Let us watch together a practical experience with people feeling safe here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What will the city of more than 7 million people look like at 1 o'clock in the morning in Saudi capital Riyadh? Hello. I'm awesome. Today I would like to conduct a social experiment with you about the safety in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, specifically in the city of Riyadh, especially at night. Uh, I'm from Milan, China. Hi, I'm from Mexico. I'm from Lebanon. In terms of crime, yes, it's safe. Riyadh, I feel very safe walking around. There is no problem, no, no issue. I never had no issue with walking here in Riyadh. It's very safe. I have lived and I have visited, and I was always warned about going out nighttime, which is not the case in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. In the mid even in the midnight, everybody going freely. Uh, they have meeting anytime, any place. It's a very nice time now. Yes, it's very safe for the woman, oh, for me, it's, it's very safe. It's very safe and I never experienced any troubles. So uh, regardless, is it a daytime or a nighttime, if I'm alone and I am still have to finish my tasks and obligations, I continue doing so. Yeah, yeah I travel a lot. I travel almost, I mean, 28 countries, but Riyadh is the most safest country and city. Yeah, I never had any issue of uh, safety or uh, stolen things in Riyadh. Even when accidentally I left my mobile in uh, in uh, a mall in Granada Mall, they kept it for me. They, no one got it, and I think it's uh, one of the 
best places in the world and famous for safety compared to other European countries. Walking at night in Riyadh city is very safe. To be honest, I got bored here because nothing is suspicious. So, oh yeah, I got it. Let me spice it up. Many cafes are open 24 hours a day. So I'll go to one and hide the camera. This time, leaving the computer on the table might be attractive for stealing. Let's wait and see what happens. Honest, I did my best, but it appears the level of security in Saudi Arabia is very high. Doing a social experiment in a country that's considered to be the safest in the G20 countries can be very boring social experiment. However, it's great news for both residents and tourists. So you are not required to seek advice from friends and family in order to protect yourself. Awesome Khaled, Akhbaria News. As you can see, when it comes into safety and security, there's a huge difference between the safety and security in Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom. Thank you for watching, and always remember to hear from us, not about us. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman.